I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And I stumbled into an article that I want to give credit to the muse for, um, T-H-E-M-U-S-E.com. The article is entitled, Here's the Secret to Acing an Interview with the Company's CEO. A great article. So full credit to the muse. The, the article was written by, uh, let me just get it, Julia Hartz, who's the co-founder and president of Eventbrite. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the firm, it's a marketplace for um, an online marketplace for live uh, events. And her article really speaks to how she interviews. But from my experience in doing search, it's uniformly consistent. So basically, she starts off with the assumption that if she's meeting someone, her team is already determined that they're qualified. And thus, she's meeting people in what she calls the founders round. Um, and, and thus, you know, they've been interviewed by the team. They've done an assignment related to the skills that are needed for the job. So they know that this person could do the job. So after an initial introduction, you know, she'll start by asking the candidate to tell, uh, tell her uh, his or her story which isn't the really here this lengthy autobiography, but what she's looking for is a great summary of their life and career, not just because she wants to be amused, but specifically covering these points, motivation, intention, and conviction. Catch that one, motivation, intention, and conviction. From there, she progresses on to other questions where she's looking for insights into the person. It's not just the story, but it's about, you know, enormously about you know, unsolicited compliments, as she says. What she really wants to know is how well the interviewee understands the challenge that the firm is trying to solve, the skills that are needed to solve it, and how they can prove they have those skills. They, she also wants to understand whether this person relates to the significance of the role and has a strong conviction for the organization. Now, understand, generally, if you're meeting the CEO, you're not meeting them at uh, an investment bank or uh, at a major American corporation. You're meeting with someone in a small to mid-sized firm who is there at the beginning a founder in this particular case, who has an emotional connection. And although she hasn't said this, she's looking for much the same sort of thing for you. you know, are you inspired to help this organization achieve what it's set out to, to achieve its mission, uh, to be the best it can be in this space, or is this just a job? And understanding that you know, as being the underpinnings behind questions uh, that you're being asked, it goes a long way towards being effective. Now, she also talks about, at the end, giving the candidate the opportunity to ask her questions, which as a founder, I know the temptation is to give softball questions, but she shares her perspective that, you know, she doesn't want to have questions that could be easily answered on the website. You know, to her, that gives her the impression that they're not well prepared. What she wants to do, or what she likes to hear about, is being asked questions about certain parts of the business and questions that would give a context and perspective. So, again, softball questions don't really require a lot of thought or intelligence. The ones that require clarification or a deeper understanding do. And since that goes into the question of, you know, can you fit into this organization? And although I normally hate the term fit because I don't believe um, organizations know how to interview for fit. And I won't go into that in any detail now. I've done videos about this before. I'll just simply say, from a personality standpoint, care, intelligence, warmth, honesty, great questions, and the points that uh, she raises in this article will go a long way toward getting you hired. Hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in my coaching you for that final interview, contact me through my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us, and there are tabs on the top 
that allow you to order time with me. Obviously, it's not going to be a long-term relationship. It's going to be about getting you ready for the interview. Look forward to helping you, and if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Hope you have a great day, and take care.